Home to some of the most interesting historical tourist attractions in the whole of the states, Virginia is a fascinating place to explore. Among the best places are colonial sites, world-class museums, and astounding antebellum architecture. And the state also has breathtaking scenery to enjoy. We also have a fun fact about the bourbon's Virginian roots for all the whiskey lovers out there, so stay tuned. Virginia is for lovers is the state's tourism slogan. Mountain lovers, animal lovers, history lovers, wine lovers, you name it, you'll find something to love in Virginia. To help you decide where you should plan a trip, we've compiled a list for everyday travelers to select the best places to visit in Virginia, so let's get into it. Located in a vast valley amidst the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains, the charming city of Roanoke is a treat to visit and explore. It is often called the Star City of the South due to the colossal lit star atop the Mighty Mill Mountain that shines out over its streets and suburbs. Historically an important transport hub thanks to a strategic setting in the southwest of the state, in recent years the city has developed a thriving arts and culture scene. There are now theaters and cultural centers to check out, as well as many music venues and museums. Of these, the Taubman Museum of Art is well worth visiting for its huge collection of artworks while the Virginia Museum of Transportation showcases the history of Roanoke's Railway. Although home to several attractions and an increasing number of excellent restaurants, most people use Roanoke as a base to explore the breathtaking Blue Ridge Parkway and the endless Appalachian Trail. Known for being home to the largest naval base in the world, the city of Norfolk has much more to it. World-class museums and pretty parks are found along its winding waterfront. Set in the southeast of the state, it lies at the heart of a major metropolitan area and is surrounded by the cities of Chesapeake, Portsmouth, and Virginia Beach. As the city is located on the banks of the Chesapeake Bay and the Elizabeth River, its history has been shaped by its relationship to the waters around it. Once considered a raucous and rowdy port town, it now sports several sparkling state-of-the-art museums. Additionally, there are some phenomenal performing arts centers with exciting entertainment options. Consistently ranked one of the best places to live in the states, the charming college town of Charlottesville is just as picturesque to visit as a tourist. Known for its wealth of interesting historic sites, it acts as a major cultural center for the region. It's also home to the prestigious University of Virginia and its pretty campus. As well as boasting beautiful buildings and arresting architecture, the small city has historic homes of two U.S. presidents for you to tour. While the former residence of James Monroe is quite modest, Thomas Jefferson's majestic Monticello plantation has gorgeous grounds and gardens to wander. Nestled in the northeast of Virginia is Mount Vernon, the plantation home of George Washington, the first president of the United States. Due to its proximity to Washington, D.C. and its huge historical importance, it attracts millions of visitors each year. Set in a scenic spot overlooking the Potomac River, the expansive estate was the home of Washington from 1754 until he died in 1799. The outbuildings and gardens are a treat to explore and have demonstrations of how the plantation worked. But the highlight is the massive mansion at its heart, which was designed and decorated by the great man himself. One of the oldest cities in the states, Richmond has been the capital of Virginia since 1780. It is awash with interesting and impressive historic sites many of them relating to the role it played in the American Civil War. Set on the banks of the James River, its scenic streets have an astounding antebellum architecture for you to enjoy, with magnificent monuments, museums, and memorials dotted about. Must-see sites include its centuries-old state capital and the sensational St. John's Church. Here, Patrick Henry famously gave his Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech during the Revolutionary War. Situated across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C. is the densely populated county of Arlington. Made up of endless urban sprawl and picturesque parks along its winding riverfront, it is home to the Pentagon and the Arlington National Cemetery. Established during the American Civil War, it is in the Arlington National Cemetery that many of the most famous figures from United States history are buried. As well as the grave of President John F. Kennedy, the most visited sites in the cemetery includes the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. In the cemetery, you can find the the attractive Arlington House, while the imposing Pentagon can be spied on just outside it. Set just to the south of both Arlington and Washington, D.C. is the town of Alexandria, boasting one of the best preserved historic districts in the country. Founded in 1749 on the western bank of the Potomac River, it has charming cobbled streets to explore. As well as exhibiting early American architecture, the beautiful buildings of the old town also house boutiques and antique shops. Dotted about its quaint center are cafes and restaurants to try out, with a host of handsome historic homes to visit. The centuries-old Christ Church and the Grand George Washington Masonic National Memorial are among the most popular. 
both are National Historic Landmarks. With almost 60 kilometers of sun-kissed sandy shores, it is no wonder that Virginia Beach is a popular holiday destination. Located at the mouth of Chesapeake Bay, its attractive Atlantic Ocean coastline offers up an astounding array of attractions, as well as a wealth of water sports. Lining the broad, beautiful beach are hotels and motels, as well as an oceanfront boardwalk dotted with souvenir shops and seafood restaurants. As well as an excellent place for a stroll, cycle, or skate, it has mini golf, arcades, amusement rides, and live entertainment. Also, the Virginia Aquarium and Ocean Breeze Water Park are close by. Once the capital of the colony and Commonwealth of Virginia, Williamsburg is renowned for its rich history and the role it played in the American Revolution. Set in the southeast on the vast Virginia Peninsula, it is home to captivating Colonial Williamsburg, one of the largest living history museums in the world. Wandering about the historic district is a delight as you pass beautiful old brick buildings and colonial era churches and houses. As well as seeing the state's first capital building in the governor's palace, you can also gain insight into the culture of the time by watching historical reenactors at work. Nestled in the north of the state is the stunning Shenandoah National Park. Sure to delight nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts alike, home to spectacular scenery and nature, it is a treat to explore with epic hiking and views. Protected and preserved since 1935, its vast forests cover part of the rugged Blue Ridge Mountains, looking out over both the Shenandoah Valley and the winding river down below. Weaving along the ridge of the narrow park is the delightful Skyline Drive, stretching 169 kilometers in length and featuring some phenomenal viewpoints. And now it is finally time for the promised bonus fact, but before that, we would like to thank you for waiting patiently. Bourbon, also known as American whiskey, is often considered a Kentucky drink, but bourbon's roots are actually Virginian. Fayette County was in Southwest Virginia, but in 1792, county lines were redrawn and the area became part of the new state of Kentucky. What are your thoughts about this amazing place? Comment down below and let us know your top pick to visit. If you enjoyed the content, uplift the channel by hitting like, subscribe, and also ring the YT bell to meet us again in the following video. Until next time.